Okay, I am a noob when it comes to magic. Noob, that means not very good. I haven't been able to construct a... a well, I have a couple times, so ones that won, but not by landslides. Not nothing that can go out against everybody and dominate. So I went through my whole collection, and this is what I came up with so far. This box here is nothing but mana. This box is nothing but all the different kinds of mana, the energy you need, the sum of your cards, it's blues, reds, blacks, greens, whites, mana. What's this? Oh, that's my red and white deck. It's my, the biggest project I, I worked on that had the most potential, but everything cost so much mana, I could never summon because all the creatures cost like a lot of mana to bring out. So what's over here? Oh, those are tokens. And what's over here? More mana. Okay. So don't worry about that. That's just what I'm going to use when it's time to build the deck. And then in this box, it's all mana too. But these are not basic. These are the special manas. That's like two colors and stuff. Oh, I don't know. Oh, these are all my multicolored cards. Cards that are two colors, but mostly they're just mana. Non basic lands. Sacrifice this searcher library for any basic card put into the battlefield tap that shuffle your library. But it's a land. So that's not really important for what I'm trying to do. Okay, let me close that. Okay, but what I did come up with was. Alright. In this box. These are all artifacts, and I probably showed this in a video a long time ago. This section. Oh Lord, I gotta sit. The, I gotta sit this somewhere. Post this up somewhere. Let me see. Post it in there. These are artifacts. Cause remember the book. Why is it? Oh, because it zoomed out. Remember the books I unboxed? The Artifact Cycle 1, Artifact Cycle 2? Well, when I go to... When I go to um, those books, I'll be motivated to use artifacts. I got a section with just artifacts. I got a section... I got a section with... Artifact creatures, which I'm going to need because that's what the artifact book is about. War is breaking out and using a bunch of artifacts. Phyrexia is natural artifacts. There are living, breathing artifacts. But these artifact creatures are artifacts too, shit. They're alive. Golems. Slivers. So I got artifacts, artifact creatures. It just more artifact creatures. One of these sections was supposed to be equipment. This enchantment artifacts. I I just don't know how to go through these and and see any strategy. I don't know what people are doing. Vehicles, equipments. Still got other sections. These here are all the artifacts I picked out going through my entire collection just now. So they're not classified. I got to split them up and put them. I really got to organize my artifacts. Some equipments. Oh, it looks like these are the equipments. Artifact creatures, some colored artifacts. Uh. Let me see. Uh, I'll take this out and divide that. 
that way. So I have a divider there. In this box I have oh what's this? Oh no. And this here I have oh my neck. Let me move it over here. Some equipment, creatures. Oh, more creatures. Artifacts. So I can make an artifact deck. Oh man, I just set, I just took them out of the box and threw them in there with the rest of the cards. Okay. So that box there has all my artifacts. Then when I was also going through at the very end, I found this box. And it has a commander deck that I must have put together one time when I took my artifacts out to the place. My commander is a legendary creature is what you sit on the side as your commander. Whatever these colors are, all your cards in the deck have or can only be the colors of your commander. So I use this. Good God. So I use this so I could use a whole deck of all colors. Use any mana. And you bring it out. Other scarecrow creatures get one one. Whenever another scarecrow comes into the play, destroy target permanent. Okay. That's not gonna do much good. The only good it's gonna do is I can use all colors. So I don't know what this is. I guess this is just my my little deck I was working on. To use all the colors. But it didn't, it wasn't successful, or I, I don't think I ever really used it. What's this, a planeswalker? Nicole Bolas. Oh, shit. Destroy target, non-creature permanent, gain control of target creature. I could do that on the first tro first time I bring it out, because it starts with five. It only takes two to do that. Minus nine, it deals seven damage to target player. That player discards seven cards and then sacrifices seven permanents. So that's some kind of deck I was working on. What's this? What was it? Where's it at? I just saw something. Gets one one for each equipment attached to it. Oh. But don't, that don't really mean nothing. I'm just thinking I'm going to use artifacts. Because I'm going to end up reading the book. The both books artifact cycle. What are these? Oh, these must have been the artifacts I took that day with me when I created the deck. I didn't even realize I had two boxes full of artifacts. Okay, I got some money messaging me. Yeah, more artifacts, but that's that's not the point of the, why I started recording. The only thing that stood out to me when I was going through these that really hit me and inspired me to want to work with. What is this? Are these here that I have in this little box in the middle? I consolidated them into this box, and, but I had overflow, so I put them in here and found somewhere to go. When I came to Magic... After I joined the game, the very next set that came out the next season was called Eldrazi's. And it appealed to me because my name is Eldrastico. L-E-L-D-R-A-Z-T-I-K-O. D-R-A-Z-T-I-K-O. Drastico. And it came out with the Eldrazi's. They're the most powerful creatures probably in Magic to this day. Like a 5-4. They look weird. A 6-4. Six, 6-5. Four. Six, These things are powerful. 6-4. 5 sevens. Man, would you believe every one of these cards here is either an Eldrazi or something that got an Eldrazi on the picture of it. So I so I just put it together with it. And if I, if when you see with the uh, official Eldrazi creature, not a drone, not a drone... Let's see. 
not a leech, even though these are strong. Wait till you see what the real Eldrazi's power are. Eldrazi press. So 3 3. 3 2. That's a 7 7. That's a real Eldrazi, but I only have it in. What's that? Japanese. Ah, uh, my, my neck. Where are the fucking Eldrazi's? Come on, I don't have time. Where are the Eldrazi's? These are Eldrazi processor. I bought these four of these off the internet or somewhere. When you cast this, you may put a card an opponent owns it from exile into their graveyard if you do. So you gain five life. It's a seven, eight. They cost a lot to bring these out. This is eight, eight mana to bring out. Where the real Eldrazi? There's one. It's a four, three, but it's, that's not a, it's, it's not, it's a cheaper one. It's a, it's colored as black. And that's blue. There's an Eldrazi. It's 4-4. Four, four. There's an Eldrazi. It's 7-5. These things are horrible to fight against. This taps it as 2 to my mana pool. That'll help me bring out more Eldrazi's. I got that real Eldrazi. I don't know why I can't find them. Let me, let me look. Oh, I just put... I don't know how these got in there. There's an Eldrazi. There's a real one. Oh, no, it's not a real one. It's just a Devastator. It's an 8 9. It costs 8 to bring out. That's a Planeswalker. See, I put stuff that had Eldrazi's in the picture just so I could have them all together. That's just an artifact. I, don't, I must have got some stuff mixed up. Hold on. Come on, where are my Eldrazi's? The basics, Ulamog and um, Pathraiser of Ulamog. There we go, a 9-9, nine, nine, costs 11. What they do is they have Annihilator. Whenever this creature attacks, defending player sacrifices three permanents. Some of them have higher than three. So if I attack them, they got to throw three of their cards that's on the battlefield away just when I attack, and it's going to hit them for 9-9. Nine, nine. Let's see. That's what the Eldrazi's was killing them with, those Annihilators. But it looks like I don't have as many as I thought. Because we've been going through them for real. I know I got them though. I've seen at least three. Maybe they're, maybe I didn't put them in here. I'm going to have to go through and see what I did with them. 1-1 one, one, Eldrazi Drone. 3-2 Eldrazi Drone. 4-3. Well, these are colored. 8 Emerge five. Uh, Artisan of Kozilek. There's an Eldrazi that hits for 10 9. When you cast this, you may return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. And it has Annihilator too. So if I pull out an Eldrazi and they, and they destroy it, when this comes out, I bring that drink back out. And it doesn't come in tap. That means it can attack that turn. Come on, where are my Eldrazi's? There's one eight nine with trample. That means if they got a four four, and I hit them with eight nine, their four is gonna block eight. But eight up, uh, but the eight remaining points go over into their life pool to take their their life down. I got a lot of Eldrazi's. After I joined the game, I was get I was collecting some Eldrazi's, but my mom threw away my entire Magic collection, and I didn't come back to Magic for like four four more years. I think it was like 2018 when I came back to Magic. I called my mom. She threw my stuff away in 2012. I called my mom. I said, "Look, I'm bored. I want to I want to go out there and meet some more friends and stuff. I'm about to go back to the Magic shop." And play, don't throw my cards away. She was like, okay, I won't throw them away. So ever since then, I've been <laughs> back in the magic. But the thing is, I got all those Eldrazi's and I want to do something with them. But I can't for the life of me figure out how I'm going to get enough mana out on the field to bring these out in time to do anything. I got one idea. My homeboy came over to my house one time and he took out all my green cards and tried to show me his strategy. A lot of green elves that cost like one or two mana to bring out. That's what he would do. Every turn he'd bring out these little elves or one or two green mana. 
and they would tap. That means instead of attacking or blocking with them, he just tap them and say they're used. He could add a mana to his his mana pool to summon stuff. So every turn he was like he was tapping like ten of them. Plus, plus he you could bring out a mana every turn anyway, and a creature or enough creatures that you got mana for. He would have like 15, 20 mana for every turn he did. And he'd just be going. And then he had all his cards were sending him into his um into his library to pick for specific cards or to pick for any mana to bring mana out. He was just about mana. He was crazy about having mana. He came over and um he came over and went through all my my green cards. I got a stack like this. And they all tap for one or two mana. But that would mean my, my deck would be green strictly. And I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. But that's the only way I can really think of how to summon these Eldrazi. But that's all. I just want to do it, show you what I've been doing for the last hour or so. Going through all my cards, which is thousands. And I got halfway through it when I realized I wanted to pick out all my artifacts and add it to the box with the artifacts. But for some reason, I had so many, I couldn't find hardly any. But I know I was going across a lot of artifacts the first time when I was going through my cards looking for Eldrazi. So I was going to put, since artifacts and Eldrazi are all colorless, they don't have color, I was going to add them together. But that's going to take away from the mana that I'm going to need. I'm going to have to have the most mana that possible just to summon the Eldrazi. I can't afford to have a deck full of four cost artifacts and stuff. So I'm going to read the book about artifacts and see where I want to go with artifacts. I'm going to look up some Phyrexian and stuff, see if I can order some stuff. But I want to do something with Eldrazi. I don't know how. I think that's like the only way I'm going to really be able to really beat people because I, for some reason my strategy, my strategizing ain't right. Maybe I've grown over the years and I can do it now, but we won't know till I try. So I'm going to do some Eldrazi. I just wanted to show you my little collection. I didn't go in depth and I couldn't find the main Eldrazi. Like I got, I got pretty much all the major ones that came out then. I don't know where they're at. They're in there. I just didn't see them just now. But yeah, that's it. All right, Muki Tay, I'm out. And that's her, Vraska, the, the voice you hear talking. City never oh, yes. returns. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't scare that easy. They talk about the unknown, but the unknowns never dealt with us. I love Vraska. I bought so many of these boxes that are green. I can see three of them now. One, two, three, big. I got a lot of these. All right, Muki Tay, I'm out. It's about to show her. There she goes. Eldrazi. Alright, I'm out.